We're always building computers and we need to save money where possible. When it comes to Windows, we're able to save hundreds of dollars because of sites like our good friends over at bobkeys.com who are today's video sponsor. Bob Keys sell Microsoft keys, Steam keys, Origin keys, Xbox and PSN keys, probably even house keys. If we jump over to Windows 10 Pro, you can see there's only 18 US dollars instead of over 100. Bob Keys want to hook our audience up with a 25% discount code which now brings the total down to $13.56. This code will not last forever so if you want to get rid of that watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your PC screen and utilize all of Windows features then why not take advantage of this? After entering the coupon code IFR25, you can submit your order and pay. In the user center under purchased orders, you will find the stream key. Simply start typing activate in the Windows search bar and paste your new key to activate. It's that simple. Now guys, if you are interested, it is code IFR25 for 25% off, or you can use the links in the description to find out more information. Hey Amelia, what do you think of this PC? Do you think it's all white? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> do you think it's all white or what? That's the big plan you had That's for the all intro. I had, really. uh, I, I'm, I'm sure everyone's seen this PC by now, but uh, we've got the official Designs by IFR 3070. And uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but on Discord, Beach was after a uh, little upgrade kit from the 1070 to the 3070. So for limited time only, we're gonna do a giveaway of an upgrade kit consisting of the pen and tape to your own IFR 3070. <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> your wish is my command, Beach. So uh, what do you guys think about this? Two distro plates with built-in radiators, one on the top, one on the bottom, all fans set to white. We were actually tossing between RGB, but I was like, eh, I don't know. This seems like an all-white decision. Oh, my God. <laughs> he has been saying that all weekend, all week, <laughs> non-stop. Well, are you all white today? or? Oh, and if I don't laugh, he keeps saying it until I laugh. I still say it, even if you do laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> yeah, so... It has a 10900K CPU and a 1070 inside. We're actually gonna be pulling this apart probably today or tomorrow, uh, just a display system. So yeah, we don't have to deal with any bottlenecking. Hello, Phoebe? Phoebe? Oh, I'll shut her up. No, uh, actually the RAM's meant to be wide as well. Oh yeah, I didn't even... Yeah, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Probably the software, but who knows. Um, yeah, so we wanted to try something a little different. So we put the hexagon reservoirs there and a few flow meters in there. Something a bit different anyway. Um, yeah, just wanted to fill up the Cosmos case. Such a big case and very heavy. Very heavy to carry. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is the first time using this water block actually. And I'm, I actually, I love this water block with the built-in temperature sensor as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I do love this. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for your support over on Patreon. Thanks for being YouTube members. Appreciate you all. You help us do things like this. You know, like, there's no way we can afford all the extra hardware and things like that. So, you know, all your support goes a long way, especially with camera gear and lighting and everything like that. Uh, we are looking at upgrading our lighting and some backdrops and things like that. So that'll be pretty cool. It's a clean shirt. Yeah, well, it's meant to be. Well, like, you picked it up off the floor. Was laying on it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we're recording. Hello, guys. <laughs> so we just finished our PC build uh, the, in the lovely Corpy 8. This was for our RTX 3090 and 3080 review sort of benchmark video. Uh, we started taking it apart and forgot to record for you guys. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, here's the build, all taken apart. We've got the brand new thermal tank water block. Um, obviously it doesn't look like much at the moment because I have taken it apart to uh, clean. But yeah, this is the build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know, I'm really curious to see what you guys think about us providing benchmarks uh, for PC builds and everything uh, in the future. 
And you know, if you guys liked that style of video, please let me know in the comments. I really need feedback. But uh, what about how many fans there are, Amelia? There's so many fans. <laughs> 17 of them, you know. 17. But it's surprising though, because these fans weren't as loud as what people think they are. It's because they're PWM controlled, so you can turn them right down. And for this particular build, we didn't worry about um, uh, intake or exhaust or anything like that. Like, we've only got four intake and then the rest are exhaust. And the reason we did that was because the logo looked better showing on the inside and we didn't have the glass on it anyway, so it was pretty much an open case. And the fact that the GPU was at the front pulling air from the front and the CPU was water-cooled, it didn't really matter. But um, yeah, I actually quite liked this build and I can't wait to get some bloody water blocks for the GPUs. Yeah, I loved all the lighting. I think the fans helped that for sure. It yeah, looks it, so good. You <laughs> love RGB though. I know, I'm a sucker for RGB. You know, but it, it did help that every single side of the case had some um, LEDs, yeah. so it was all lit up. But yeah, and the distro plate was pretty cool as well. I enjoyed using that. It's the first time we've used this distro as well. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool design. Anyway, I better keep taking this thing apart. I hope you are all enjoying these little Patreon update videos and uh, thanks for your support, guys. So what do we have here? This is a computer. Wow. A jet engine computer. It is a little loud. Can you hear the fans? Yes. There is uh They're very loud. And I don't think... No, these ones are... Are they PWM? I actually don't know. Where's the controller? I don't... I don't know. They're <laughs> some, somewhere back here in this mess of cables because we're about to take this thing apart. So we've removed all of the cable combs. It looks good though. The fans are connected somewhere, but I have no idea. <laughs> One thing that I really do have to say is the um, Antec RAM looks really nice under RGB. Yeah, it does look really, really good. nice. Like it's a nice diffused RGB, which looks really cool. But uh, yeah, everyone's going to be hearing those jet engines as you put the phone <laughs> inside there. <laughs> First hand experience of the jet engines. <laughs> I don't even remember what's inside of it. Oh, we've got the MSI RTX 2080 Super Seahawk, I believe it is. I can't remember what CPU we put in here because it's been like, what, two weeks? Since? It has no. been together for a while. No, it's about three weeks it's been. Yeah, it would be, yeah. yeah. About three uh, weeks. ASRock B550 Tai Chi, there we go. <laughs> That's the motherboard, and I'm sure we would have put a, uh, what, a 3900X CPU inside from memory, I'm pretty sure. Then we've got 32 gigs of the Antec Katana RAM. Uh, these are Antec fans. It's has been very loud though. Surprisingly, yeah, I've never noticed it be this loud before. Not as loud as your, uh -oh. your PC. Mine, fans. No, listen, my PC is a jet, okay? I need a new one. We're gonna put some more silent this fans is, in there. This is quieter, in my opinion, than my one. It's how loud it is. Jeez. It's ridiculous. Do you like the uh, different colored fittings? Like red fittings? Yes, I do, yes. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I One thing with this PC is I think I would have liked a more lighter or vibrant red. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's time to take this thing apart because we need the GPU, we need the CPU so we can keep building more PCs. Um, I don't think there's really much else more to say about this. It was just a normal water cool build. For those of you who don't remember though, Remember like a couple of weeks ago, we built a soft tube build in this? Yes, actually, yeah. I so did. this is the exact same build, just with a different GPU inside um, and a different reservoir. And we ended up doing hard tubing for it, so. Actually, I, wish, I wonder which one they'd like best. Yeah, which one? I'll do a side by videos. side. I'll, yeah, okay, I'll there do we a go. side we'll by side. Side by side, so we've got the the soft tube blue water cool build, and then we've got the red hard tube build. Yeah, let us know which one you prefer. A red jet engine. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you remember the soft tube build being this loud though? I don't remember it being that loud. Oh, yeah, I can't even remember. I can't remember. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed guys. 
And uh, thanks for your support. It's greatly appreciated. I know Amelia appreciates it as well. Yeah, Is that thanks, right? thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, peace. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>